Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a quick little video because uh, I know a lot of you um, want were interested in hearing these videos um, when I announced my pregnancy. But I want to do a first trimester kind of summary nursing update for you guys on how being pregnant in my first trimester has been going at work. And I plan on doing like a second trimester and third trimester update for um, how it's going with in relation to being a nurse um, but if you're interested in more like in detail pregnancy updates my other channels will be linked down below for that um, but anyways I kind of just want to talk about how being a nurse and being in my first trimester has gone um, I am almost out of my first trimester I've got like two and a half weeks left so I'm pretty much almost there but honestly I, I could sit here and complain all I want, but I really can't complain too much because one, I know a lot of women are way sicker than I am. I have only thrown up a couple of times and I just, you know, I've had the nausea. I've been tired and gosh, my hair's everywhere. Um, but my work has really been super accommodating with me as far as like they've given me great patient assignments. They're not giving me people who are very intensive labor wise or, um, really heavy weight patients and they've really just been looking out for me you know if I'm going to go lift something they're like oh no 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 let me switch you sides or let me you know let me do that and you do this instead so that's been super helpful they also are very like accommodating if I'm like hey I need to run down and grab something to eat really quick everyone's been like okay no problem go down take your time so that's been awesome um and also like as far as scheduling goes that's never really been an issue my work has always been very accommodating for my schedule but they also have been continuing continually <laughs> throughout this first trimester. Um, so some things that I've been doing for work that um, I guess I haven't done before. One, I haven't been scheduling myself for multiple shifts in a row because I had been scheduling myself for like three, four shifts in a row and it's just too much. Like I just, I can't do that many shifts in a row anymore. I need to work like two on, one off, one on, and then have my three days off. Um, if I'm gonna go on a vacation, then I may like schedule myself to work more days in a row. But other than that, I'm not scheduling myself that many shifts in a row. I'm just too tired. The shifts are really long. It doesn't matter like if I'm busy my sh during my shift or I'm sitting around more of my shift. I'm still tired after at the end of my shift, like physically, mentally. I could be sitting at home and take a nap three times a day and I'm still tired. So that's just being pregnant. Um, I've also been trying to bring lots of snacks, um, drink a lot. Um, I know it's difficult if you're working a really busy job and you need to eat a lot or take a lot of bathroom breaks. Um, you're just going to have to communicate with your work because honestly, like mine, job they're very like accommodating with that but if you're in a job where you're not able to do that a lot then it's going to be very difficult to have that job while pregnant if you're feeling sick a lot or having certain symptoms otherwise i've still been able to do everything at work besides take care of like they haven't given me flu patients or tb or cmv or any like weird viral or weird respiratory patients um, but I'm still able to take care of most patients. I still am lifting and boosting and squatting and all of that. And my doctor said, that's totally fine. He said, when we get later on in your pregnancy, then we can talk about some more modifications for things. But otherwise right now you're totally fine. And as long as you're not high risk or having any issues, then I'm good to go. So I've still been doing those things. I've just been careful about doing them and making sure I have good body positioning. And if I can avoid doing certain things, and I definitely am. I've also been really just, and you should always be cautious of this, but let's be real here. Like sometimes we pop open pills or give medications, draw them up and we don't have gloves on. And I mean, we've washed our hands and stuff, but still like you just don't, and you're, even if you don't touch any of the medications, sometimes, you know, it just happens. Like a medication squirts on you. Even if you do have gloves on you, it may squirt on your arm. And um, so I have just been really careful with washing my hands, wearing gloves, more consistently and I know people are gonna be like oh she doesn't wear gloves oh that's gross or you're breaking rules but like I'm just trying to be honest here every time you drop a medication do you have gloves on no so um, I've been really careful about just making sure I'm not being exposed to things um, through my skin and just obviously washing my hands a lot yada yada all those normal nursing things honestly it's like nothing's changed but everything's changed all at the same time um, I'll talk in my next video probably more about how I'm planning for, um, what's it called, taking time off work and all those things. 
I've been like so tempted to call off work so many times because I wake up and I'm so tired. But I'm just like, no, I can't. I need to save up my PTO days and my sick days for when the baby's here because I know it's gonna be more worth it then than it is to call off now just because I'm feeling nauseous. So that's all I really have to say. Not really a whole lot, but again, like a whole lot. And um, yeah, if any of you are pregnant or have any tips or tricks or things that worked for you, um, just keep the comments positive. I'm very sensitive lately, <laughs> all the hormones. So um, keep the comments positive. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any other questions or anything, leave them down below. And honestly, most information as far as how my pregnancy is going, the gender, names, announcements, all that fun stuff is going to be on my channels that I'll have linked down below. So make sure you're subscribed to those if you want to see all that fun stuff. But otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.